we know um, that when we inputted, um, we had, we have, um, you know, two amps of current, of current um, placed placed in for uh, three minutes at a voltage, at a potential difference of voltage. Potential difference and voltage are the same thing, um, of 1.5 volts, okay? Um, and the M&M, um, &M, hang on, no, the water changed by changed by um, 2.8 degrees Celsius. And now we want to find, um, yeah, so we want to find the calibration factor first of all. So let's just practice that right now. What we do is we just get energy equals to VIT, which is the voltage, which is um, 1.5 times by the current, which is two, times by the time, which is three minutes times by 60 because in three minutes you have um, it's uh, three minutes is not a seconds okay so that's just unit conversion okay so it must be in seconds all right now we divide that by 2.8 degrees and if I get my trustworthy calculator out um, that happens to be 1.5 times by 2 times by 3 times by 60 and divided by 2.8, hope I got that right, but what I end up getting is 100 and 192.857 joules. Remember joules, because this top thing is in joules. Okay, so that's how much joules um, we have. And oh, I didn't realize we have joules from the top here per degree. So what this means is that you need to deliver 192 joules into this calorimeter in order to raise the temperature by one degree. Okay, so let me make part two of this question. Let's say we added a little slice of pizza. Keep on, I'm really hungry. Um, so anyway, we added in, added some, some margarita pizza, you know, we added 2.1 gram of pizza. Okay, and um, we knew that the pizza um, caused a difference, caused a rise of 15.2 degrees Celsius. This is probably not possible, but this is just an example. So you get um, other ones in your book that are more realistic. Anyway, so um, basically what we know right now is we know that we have a calibration factor and we also know how much temperature that pizza caused the calorimeter to increase by. So how much, yeah, how many degrees. So what we can do now is we can work out the energy content of the pizza because we know that the energy of the calorimeter is 192.85 seven well this is not really energy anymore this is the calibration factor calibration factor okay so that's the calibration factor of the calorimeter that you need to add in that amount of joules per one degree and if you multiply that by 15.2 degrees um, which is how much the pizza caused the water to change at we can work out because these units cancel we can work out how many joules that pizza um, had in it because the only reason why the water or the calorimeter will increase by this amount of degrees is due to the pizza um, giving it off, giving the energy off. So if we multiply it by 15.2, then essentially what we'll get is we'll get 2931.43 joules. So that's how much energy the pizza provided. So this is the energy of the pizza. Now we also know the mass of the pizza. Mass of the pizza is 2.9, 2.1 gram. Okay, and what we can figure out now is the delta H, okay, of the pizza. So delta H can be expressed as kilojoules per something, per gram or per mole. So the delta H, or the heat of combustion in this case, 
is 2931.43 joules in every for every 2.1 gram. So if we work that out and divide this by 2.1 gram, we will get um, 1395.92 joules per gram, which becomes 1.39592 kilojoules per gram. Okay, and then we'll express that to the correct significant figures. But this is what your enthalpy will be of the pizza for this particular case. Okay, so remember it's per gram because you can't really get a mole of pizza because you have so much stuff in there. Okay, so I hope you learned something today. I hope this made complete sense. And I look forward to seeing you um, in the next few videos. Um, keep well and, yep, see you.